Hey, what is going on everybody? This is pretty cool. And I can tell you, no third party apps, completely free. I mean, everything is built into the Android phone and your TV. And that TV is not Android, by the way. That is an 11 years old Samsung TV. Doesn't, it's not Android. <laughs> it's not Android. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool, right? So let's just dive right into it and let's do this. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. In today's quick video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect your phone, any Android phone by the way, to your TV. Now this is completely free. We don't need any third party apps. It's all built into your Android phones. And it's pretty simple too, as I just showed you before. So let's dive right into it. All right, so the very first thing we need to do on the Android phone is to make sure your Android phone is connected to a network, okay? So I said Wi-Fi, but you have multiple options. Don't worry about it. I'll show you in a bit. Hold on, just... All right, so the first thing you wanna do is to go to the settings. Once you're inside the settings, as I said before, all right, so if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can always use your mobile hotspot. So once you're inside the settings, go to the connection and sharing settings. And once you're inside the connection and sharing settings, you have the option for the portable hotspot. All you have to do is to turn it on. That's it. But be careful as it use your mobile data, depending on your network and your data plan, this might cost you credit, okay? So just be careful with it. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna just use my Wi-Fi instead. Just make sure your uh, phone is connected to some sort of a connection. As you can see, mine is connected to my home Wi-Fi there. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all we need to do on the Android phone. All right, now we need to do the exact same process on the TV as well, because we need to make sure the TV and your phone are on the same, same network. That is really, really important, okay? So because we're using, uh, let's just say, we're not using any cables, but the Wi-Fi is our invisible cable. So basically we're using Wi-Fi as a cable. I mean, <laughs> does that even, does that, does that even make sense? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below, okay? All right, let's do this. All right, so as I said before, we need to do the exact same process on the TV as well. But this TV is a 11 years old TV, so don't worry about it. This is not an Android or even smart TV, okay? The only smart thing about this camp, about this TV is that it has Wi-Fi in it. That's pretty much it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is to go to your uh, settings page on your TV, of course, and go to the network settings. By the way, as I said before, if you don't have Wi-Fi in it, uh, I will be linking that video up in the up, up here or up there, okay? So be sure to watch that because in that video, I'll show you how you can do that to a TV that doesn't have Wi-Fi. All right, so inside the network settings, if you have never done this before, go to the network settings or if you have done this before, go to your network status. We all just need to make sure that the TV is connected to that exact same Wi-Fi as our uh, phone is connected to. So in this case, my TV is connected to my network and that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's all we need to do. And now we need to open the screen mirroring tab. By the way, to know if your TV has screen mirroring or not, I'll be linking that video up here or in there, okay? So be sure to watch that. All right, so on your remote control, that is an easy way to do that. Hold on, let me just focus. All right, so on your remote control, you have the option for the source button, as you can see. If you click on the source, and it's gonna give you the option. There you go. There is the screen mirroring option. But let's just say, if you don't have source option on your remote control, you can always access the screen mirroring from the settings. So go to the settings and go to the network settings. It should, it should always be under the network settings or the device settings. So there you go. I have the screen mirroring. Just open it up and launch the window. There you go. All right, so once you are on this screen, that means the TV is ready uh, the, for the phone to be mirrored to, okay? So let's just, let's, let's do this. All right, few checks before we start. Just make sure your TV and your phone are on the same, same network, okay? All right, so mine is connected to the same network as my TV is, so let's do this. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is to go to the settings, obviously. And once you're inside the settings, you have the option for the connection and sharing settings. As you can see, right below the Bluetooth. Once you're inside the connection and sharing settings, hold on, you have multiple options. You don't wanna go into the cast option. That option is for the Android TVs only. By the way, if you wanna watch that video, I'll be linking that video 
up in the in the card somewhere here or in there in that corner okay so be sure to check that out all right so once you're in the connection and sharing settings you want to scroll down a bit once you find until you find the option called wireless display that's what we need so once you click on it inside the wireless display it's going to show you all the android tvs that are in the background by the way since my Samsung TV is really old, you really need to open the screen remembering tab on the TV in order to do this, okay? So let me just open it up and I'll, let's just open it up and let me show you again. All right, so as I said before, we need to open the screen remembering tab on the TV in order to do this. Okay, so inside the wireless display settings, you have the option. As you can see, I have one TV in the settings and that is my Android TV. So in order to make sure we need we connect to the same exact TV, you need to turn on the wireless display settings. Once you turn on the wireless display settings, it's gonna scan all the known Android TVs in the background. As you can see, I have my Samsung right there. All you need to do is just click on it. And let's see, it's connecting. And there you go, it's connected. It is connected. So uh, pretty, pretty simple. I mean, it's uh, uh, nothing fancy at all. I mean, it's <laughs> really, really simple. And uh, that's how you connect your phone to your TV. By the way, as I said before, if you have Android TV, I'll ha I have a separate video for that one. So be sure to check that out up here or in there, okay? By the way, you have a lot of options. You can even play games. You can even use camera if you want to. Hold on, check this out. Wait, there you go. Pretty, pretty awesome. Hello. See, it's working. It's working pretty awesome. So as I said before, uh, you can even play games if you want to. Uh, as you can see, if I play, if I if I open a game, it will automatically rotate, as you can see on the screen. So you have the option to enjoy some games as well. And the audio is coming from the TV as well. So that is really, really good. And I'm going to accept. Wait, there you go. It's it's rotated on the screen as well. So as you can see, pretty, pretty awesome. And how do I quit this exactly? Uh, there you go. Wait, there you go. So uh, that's how you do it. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? By the way, let me know in the coming section below if you have any questions. I would love to hear from you guys. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. By the way, if you want to stop this, it's really, really simple as well. Go to the settings. So once you're inside the settings, go to the connection and sharing settings. And it's working in the background as well. <laughs> so go to the wireless display. And all you need to do is just to disable, disable the wireless display. And it's automatically going to disable uh the screen mirroring or or the phone that is connected to your tv pretty pretty simple right so yeah it's pretty awesome well let me know in the comment section below how was that pretty awesome right and i'll catch you in the next one peace out well i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you liked the video by the way if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below i will definitely definitely get back to you okay and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel be sure to subscribe i'll catch you in the next one Peace out. Oh, and by the way, if this video helped in any way, leave a like as well, okay? Now I'll catch you in the next one.